What up, everybody? Since season one of Power Book 2 Ghost, there's been a rivalry brewing between Lauren Baldwin and Effie Morales because they both like Tariq St. Patrick. But the thing about Lauren and Effie is that they are two complete opposites. Lauren grew up in an upper-class two-parent home and was very judgmental as she expressed her views and beliefs in the Stansfield classroom debates. As for Effie, she came from a lower class single parent home and she got into Yale at the time on a scholarship. Effie, unlike Lauren, who was very judgmental against criminals, was really about that life and had been hustling since she was young as a means to get by. Either though we did find out in season three that Effie didn't want to be in the game forever and had an exit plan. Effie wanted out the game so much, she even wrote freedom on her card as her goal in the Stansfield classroom scene. Lauren and Effie had their first face-to-face -face as Tariq and Lauren were having an argument about the night prior when she was trying to hook up with him, but Tariq had to turn Lauren down because he had blood all on his shirt under his jacket. And when they were having that argument, Effie knocked on Tariq's door because it was homecoming weekend and she wanted to move some product. But when Lauren saw Effie, she said, Well, I see what the other night was about now, and stormed out of Tariq's dorm room. Then Effie thought she was being played to the left in a similar way, as Tariq had to leave her on red because there was an attempt on his life by GTG member Bars at the Stansfield pool. This resulted in Lauren becoming Tariq's girlfriend in season two. But when Lauren got caught with some pills that were put in her drawer by Brashandria, she agreed to wear a wire to get the charges dropped, which resulted in Tariq getting arrested for double homicide. And that resulted in Tariq and Lauren breaking up and Tariq getting back with Effie. But Effie and Lauren crossed paths again after Effie found out that Lauren had wore a wire and she tried to take out Lauren herself and making it look like Lauren got into a car wreck. But because Lauren was saved, the two had another face-to-face -face in season three when Effie was shocked to see that Lauren was still alive and that she was being charged with attempted murder as Lauren rolled down the window and said, yeah, that's the bitch who tried to kill me. Then the two had their most recent conversation when Effie was in custody and Lauren went to talk to her where she agreed to retract her statement if Effie promised Lauren and her family's safety so Lauren could get back to her regular life and avoid being sent into WITSEC. So the rivalry between Effie and Lauren has been brewing for all three seasons now. But the question I begin to ask is, does this connection between Lauren and Effie run deeper than just these three seasons? And thought about how they both potentially have ties to Washington, D.C. And possibly a jewelry store robbery that Kanan was involved in in Power Season 3. Because one thing we know for sure is that Lauren's mother was at the jewelry store at the time of the robbery. And this robbery took place in Washington, D.C. as she can be seen on screen shopping when the robbery is taking place. So Lauren's mother has been part of a couple traumatic events for a normal civilian to go through. Because in season three, she was also held hostage by the Tejadas along with her husband, as incentive for Lauren to recant. But at the same time, keep in mind that in season one, when Lauren first met Tariq, she already had a boyfriend named Malcolm that went to school in none other than D.C. So is there a chance that Lauren grew up in D.C. and moved to New York at some point, and that is why she has these Washington, D.C. ties? Because as for Effie, her history is a mystery, other than a few things. She told Tariq that her brother was killed in a robbery gone wrong and that her mother hasn't been sober a day since. We also learned in season three that Effie doesn't speak to her mother because of a situation with her stepfather. At the same time in season three, when everyone else had their family targeted by Noma and Obi, Obi called Effie an orphan. Was he not able to get any info on Effie because her mother was located in another state, potentially Washington, D.C.? When we got introduced to Effie in Season 6 of Power, it was at Cho, and she was there on a scholarship. But from what I can remember, they never actually said where Effie grew up or where she was from, and please correct me if I'm wrong. 
getting me back to the robbery in Season 3 of Power. During this robbery, there was a young man who was killed named Dirt, who was the inside man who worked at the jewelry store. And he was supposed to be getting a cut that would be paying for his schooling. Something very similar to the whole reason why Effie started hustling. To be able to afford her books and everything else she needed to get her education. And this robbery obviously went really wrong for Dirt. Because he didn't think it would end up with him getting a bullet. And obviously Dirt isn't this guy's real name. So the question is could Dirt be Effie's mystery brother? And if this is true, then Dirt was killed at the same robbery gone wrong that Lauren's mom was shopping at. And I think it was Dirt that was even serving Miss Baldwin at the time of the robbery. And this isn't the only potential DC connection that Effie may have had. Effie also had a mystery connect dating back to OG Power and all the way through book 2 when he stopped answering sometime around the end of season 1. Then keep in mind that Monet killed a plug named Rico. And I can't remember if Rico was from Baltimore or DC. But the two are really close together nonetheless. And Rico definitely had ties to DC. Because before Monet killed Rico. She also killed his boy. One of his soldiers named DC Joe. So because this timeline adds up to when Effie no longer had a connect. And when DC Joe and Rico were killed. There's a very good chance that either DC Joe or Rico was actually Effie's first plug. And this is why she was never able to get another connect in New York because all her connections were back in DC. But at the same time, Effie isn't the only one who had a mystery brother. When Lauren was introduced in season one, we also found out that Lauren had a brother, but he wasn't around like that because he was always in rehab. Because he had such a bad drug addiction. Tariq was even supposed to move into this guy's apartment to take care of Yaz before being charged with those murder cases. But all the way to the end of season 3 when Lauren was leaving with her parents, her brother still wasn't mentioned or seen in the picture. Could we possibly be introduced to Lauren's brother in season 4 book 2? And what if we find out that Effie was actually who was serving her brother when he got hooked on drugs. Because Effie's been serving since she was young and both having potential ties to DC. But Effie was also at Choate serving where Lauren's brother might have been also going to attend private school. Because Lauren's brother had to be getting his drugs from somebody. And if Lauren were to find out that it was Effie who had been serving her brother this would definitely add to Lauren wanting to get revenge against Effie. Keep in mind, during Lauren and Effie's most recent conversation, Lauren told Effie that she wasn't the same old Lauren. That last time she didn't see her coming, but now her eyes are wide open. And if Dirt was Effie's brother, will Effie end with a similar fate as Dirt? Because just as Dirt thought he had an escape plan for his future, he was smoked. Will Effie be on her way to Stanford only to catch a bullet before making it there? And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.